is Claire. I'm a, a junior from um, Red River Falls, Minnesota. I went to school at St. John Lutheran School in Redwood. Yeah, okay. So, fire came from the presence of the Lord. Moses and Aaron then went into the tent of meeting. When they came out, they blessed the people, and the glory of the Lord appeared to all the people. Fire came out from the presence of the Lord and consumed the burning offering and the fat portions on the altar. And when all the people saw it, they shouted for joy and fell face down. Leviticus 9, 23 and 24. It was the 4th of July, and my wife and I were standing on a driveway watching the fireworks filling the sky. Our friends across the street had been lighting some small rockets, when suddenly one of them misfired and came skidding across the street right toward us. We quickly jumped out of the way as momentary fear suddenly gave way to laughter. The glory of the Lord appeared in fire one day in front of the people of Israel. There might have been a moment of fear for them too, but when they saw the fire, they shouted for joy and fell face down. Why? Aaron had just been ordained as high priest. Now from the raised platform of the altar, from the altar of burnt offering, he blessed the assembled children of Israel, perhaps using the familiar blessing we often use at the end of our worship services today. Then Aaron and his brother Moses went into the tent of meeting. When they came out, they again blessed the people. Suddenly the glory of the Lord appeared in fire and totally consumed the offerings on the altar. Why did this happen? Why did the, Lord, why did the glory of the Lord totally burn up the offerings? The offerings had already been burning on the altar, but God dramatically demonstrated his acceptance of them by consuming them suddenly and completely. It was a visible sign of the Lord's gracious presence and activity on behalf of his people. When they saw the glory of the Lord in the fire, the people shouted for joy and fell on their faces because of the greatness and the holiness of God. As we look into the face of the baby whose birth we are about to celebrate, we too see the glory of God. We see the, his gracious presence and wonderful activity on our behalf. We see the one who came to save us from sin and take us to heaven. Filled with joy, we too bow in humble adoration before him. We pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for revealing your glory by coming into this world to save us. Amen. Uh, have a blessed Christmas.